Hey folks, this is Gabe with Security Baron, and today we're looking at the newest entry in the Ring Cam lineup, the Ring Stick Up Cam Battery. In today's review of the Ring Stick Up Cam Battery, we're gonna be going over some pros and cons, its design, its feature set, the installation process before diving into its mobile application to make sure you have all the information you need to make the right decision. If you'd like to see a list of our favorite home security cameras, Google Security Baron Best Home Security Cameras. If you have a question about today's review, leave us a comment and I'll get back to you. Let's kick off today's review of the Ring Stick Up Cam Battery, going over some pros and cons, beginning with those pros. Now, right off the bat, I wanna talk about that video quality. 1080p, high definition, looks great. Uh, you can see things well, got a 130 degree diagonal field of view, so it's capturing most everything taking place in a given space. It also has infrared LEDs to help you see at night, uh, so you shouldn't have to worry no matter what's going on, you're gonna be able to see things clearly. Now, when it comes to where you can put it, well, just about anywhere because it is battery powered. In fact, it doesn't even come with a power adapter to plug in. It just has a USB charging cable. You charge that battery and Ring purports that it will work for several months afterwards. Finally, we have to talk about the price. At coming in under $100, it's really impressive that Ring has provided a device with so many features for so little money. Now when it comes to cons, you don't have any artificial intelligence with the Ring Stick Up Cam battery. Now generally, I can live with not having any artificial intelligence in terms of helping me to cut down on unwanted on notifications as long as I have activity zones. Unfortunately, while you can adjust the motion sensitivity or turn off and on three predetermined motion zones, you do not have the ability with the Ring Stick Up Cam battery to draw your own custom activity zones. Uh, so that kind of exacerbates the no artificial intelligence element. Now that we've gone over the pros and cons for the Ring Stick Up Cam battery, let's go over its design. And I just have to say right off the bat that I'm a big fan of the direction that Ring is going in with its two most recent cameras, the Ring Indoor Cam and the Ring Stick Up Cam battery. Now, it is definitely um, a better design, not only in terms of, you know, it's the fact that it's kind of petite uh, and it's like nice white aesthetic, but also in its mounting hardware. With this device, you can not only mount it from the bottom, but also from the back. You'll note here that there are two weather sealing plugs. Remember, this is IPX5 weather resistant. So not only for the power adapter here, uh, which you can buy separately, but also the mounting hardware can go on the back. Uh, so you can actually place it in a different way. Uh, it actually swivels and the bottom comes off if you just do a little quarter of a turn, eighth of a turn, and you can pop that battery right out. Because uh, remember, this is a battery operated device. So I think this is a really brilliant way uh, for Ring to give a lot more mobility and flexibility to the Ring Stick Up Cam. Uh, it's got a basically flush front. Uh, it has a little bit of a protrusion from one side of the lens, but generally speaking, you have your speaker here, and I'm just a fan of this design on the Ring Stick Up Cam battery. Well, hold on. I hope you're enjoying today's review of the Ring Stick Up Cam battery. If you want to be kept up to date on the newest in home security cameras, smart home security, cybersecurity, and more, subscribe to our channel, Security Baron. We're dropping new content weekly. All right, let's get back to the video. Now that we've gone over some pros and cons and the design of the Ring Stick Up Cam battery, let's talk about its feature set, beginning with that video quality, and it's pretty solid. It's got 1080p high definition, 130 degree field of view. So if you notice in our indoor shots, it's capturing everything pretty well. Uh, you can see me, you can see what's taking place in the room. Now there may be a little bit too much of a shadow on my face at certain distances, but overall you can definitely make out my features and know who I am. Now when you extend that to the outside, you may note that it's pretty reasonable. Uh, it's not gonna be the best because we're about 30 to 40 feet up high and the subjects below are just very far away. And for that, it's capturing it pretty well. You can definitely see what's taking place on the little alleyway below us. Now, when it comes to night vision, it's picking things up in a really nice way. It's got two infrared LEDs, but I'm actually surprised at how well those two infrared LEDs pick up what's taking place. I feel like you can really make out my features and see me pretty well with the night vision on the Ring Stick Up Cam battery. 
Now the Ring Stick Up Cam battery is equipped with two-way audio and that two-way audio actually gives you the ability to have a conversation or listen in on whatever is happening in front of your Ring Stick Up Cam battery. And in our test, we found it pretty easy to carry on a conversation, to tell people what was going on and to hear what was happening in the room or in the vicinity of our Ring Stick Up Cam battery. This is what the audio sounds like on the Ring Stick Up Cam battery. Now, if you're one who wants to, of course, save or share or just download the clips that you have from your Ring Stick Up Cam battery, you're gonna have to sign up for the Ring Protect plan. The Ring Protect plan gives you 60 days of cloud storage for $3 a month or $30 a year. Uh, and it's gonna be necessary if you wanna download those clips and do anything beyond just a live viewing or getting a notification that something's taking place. A great feature of the Ring Stick Up Cam battery is its integration with the Amazon Virtual Assistant. Uh, what that means is that you control your device just using your voice or even inside the Amazon Virtual Assistant mobile application. Uh, one particularly lovely use of the Ring Stick Up Cam battery and the Amazon Virtual Assistant is the ability to take whatever this is recording and view it in a live stream on one of your Amazon Echo Show devices. Now with any home security camera, the ability to control the number of notifications you get to your mobile device is really important. Now with some, you can use artificial intelligence. That's not an option with the Ring Stick Up Cam battery. However, it does give the ability to do a few things. One thing is of course, just decide when you're gonna be getting your motion alerts by setting up a motion schedule. You can then decide how frequently you wanna get notifications to your phone. And then finally, you can actually set the motion sensitivity. So if you have that barrier all the way to the top, anything that goes by, any tree that rustles is gonna set off your camera. Or you can have it set up where it's not gonna be set off by anything that's not the most obvious, the most unsubtle movement in a particular space. So those are some of the options you have for reducing or increasing the number of notifications you get due to motion alerts with the Ring Stick Up Cam battery. Now the final thing I wanna talk about with the Ring Stick Up Cam battery is not related to what you can see with it, but rather what you cannot see. And that is a new feature called Privacy Zones. Now Privacy Zones basically allow you to set up a space where it will not take in any visual information. It becomes a literal black box in terms of what it's gonna pick up. Uh, it's really fascinating because you can put it anywhere on the screen and as soon as something walks into that space, it virtually disappears. Uh, you do not know uh, what's happening. And that's really interesting that they thought, you know, there's probably places in people's homes where, where they don't want any uh, activity uh, to be seen. So that's a really interesting element. And that's our look at the feature set on the Ring Stick Up Cam battery. Now that we know about the feature set on the Ring Stick Up Cam battery, let's talk about the installation process, beginning with the digital installation process, which is pretty straightforward. There's a QR code on the bottom of this device. Uh, you're gonna use this to actually set it up in your mobile app. But before you do that, you're gonna take this battery, use the included USB charging cable and make sure that it's completely charged up because this is a set it and forget it type device. So once you have your battery set up, you've scanned the QR code during the setup for the ring, you're ready to go. And then it's just a physical installation process. Now, of course, in our case, we have it indoor and we can place it like so, but you also have mounting hardware on the bottom that you can use to put it anywhere outside if you wanna have it in a certain direction. You can also place it directly on the back. And this is where you can have new mounting hardware to have it in a different orientation. So overall, pretty straightforward. The various video tutorials provided by Ring to help you with no matter how you wanna get this thing situated in your home. And overall, we have to say it's a very easy digital and physical installation with the Ring Stick Up Cam battery. Now that we've got our Ring Stick Up Cam battery installed, let's talk about the mobile app, the Ring Always Home app, that has a 2.8 out of five star rating in the Google Play Store and a 3.2 out of five star rating in the Apple App Store, which is not the greatest, but we do wanna state that that does reflect uh, the Ring app across all devices. Uh, this is where you'll be doing most of your work with the camera, so let's go ahead and check it out on my iPhone 7 Plus. Here I am checking out the Ring Always Home app with my Ring Stick Up Cam battery. Now I've called this device Panda because I don't want my Amazon Virtual Assistant to get it confused with any other Ring products. So let's go ahead and jump into that live view. 
Now you can see here, super pretty well. Hello, how you doing? Uh, you note that you can um, go and listen to it by tapping on the uh, speaker on the bottom right hand corner. Uh, so it's a pretty solid view. You can look at it in landscape or you can look at it uh, in portrait mode like this. Now let's go ahead and jump out of here and go into the settings. Now you'll see at the top it has record motion. Below that it has motion alerts, uh, which I've turned off because you know I don't actually want uh, to have this going off over and over again as I sit in front of it. But if I clicked on that, I could go in. Of course, I've turned off notifications and that's something uh, you would have to switch out. And we've already jumped into the live view. So let's go ahead and check out that event history. Now for event history, uh, I just jumped into a live view so you can see that. You can see various answer motion or motion and you can look by specific activity. You can look for motion activity, live view activity, Let's go ahead and um, show you how you would actually save that. So I wanted to save this last video. I would go in the bottom right hand corner and you'll see right along the bottom of various um, options pop up. You've got Facebook, you've got neighbors, you've got email, you've got text, or you've got that download button. So I can just download this directly to my phone or I could decide to text it to someone or email someone or post it to my Facebook. Now I don't actually wanna go and prepare and pr send this video out. So let's go ahead and jump out and go back. Now you'll see to the right of event history, you've got motion snooze. Uh, and that lets you turn off all motion detection. For example, if you're gonna be in that room, you know, maybe even taking a nap, taking an actual snooze, and you don't wanna be alerted uh, to motion detection, uh, you can go ahead and turn it on for 30 minutes, two hours, four hours. Uh, I'd love to take a four hour nap right about now. Now if I jump out of here, I can of course go to my device settings. Now this is where you're gonna be doing the bulk of your work when it comes to customizing your experience with your Ring Stick Up Cam battery. You've got motion settings where you can choose the sensitivity. Now this is a little bit different than um, what you may be expecting because it really just shows where it's going to be basically giving you notification. So if you want it on max, it's gonna be super sensitive to what's going on. If you don't want that many, you can turn it down a little bit more. And then of course, uh, you can tap a zone uh, to turn motion detection off or on in that area. So I could tap there, and now it's not gonna give me any motion detection there. Or I could turn it back on, I could do just the middle, or even the left side. So let's go ahead and keep it on for all those spaces. Now going back, you have another option, which is the motion verification, which basically reduces unwanted notifications and trims recordings if motion stops before the recording ends. Um, so we can turn that off, turn it back on, and then it'll let you know that it will use additional video processing, uh, which can delay motion notifications. So let's cancel turning that on for now, and go to motion schedule. Now I have one rule already set up. That's my English Premier League rule, which means basically between seven and 12, I will not have my alarm going off, my, my camera going off, because it knows I'm in the living room watching the Premier League. If I wanted to add a new one, I could. Just add a new schedule. Maybe I don't want to hear anything, you know, Monday morning between eight and nine when I know I'm home. Or probably seven and eight is probably better. Usually out. Eight and voila. Now that's my new rule uh, that I have just for Monday mornings. Now beyond that, you can go into motion frequency where you can decide on how often you want to be notified and you want it to capture various motions. You can have it on light, which is the best for your battery life, because remember this is an indoor and outdoor camera, and maybe you don't want to plug it in. I just want to use the battery that comes with it. You can go to standard, frequent, um, which of course reduces your battery life if your pan is not wired or solar powered. Now if I go into video settings, you note that you have the ability to look at your live view, turn your infrared, uh, lights on for night vision, uh, decide if you wanna be actually streaming audio and recording audio, uh, depending on that privacy level. And there's one thing that is new to the Ring Stick Cam battery uh, that we wanted to check out, which is the privacy zones. Now in the privacy zones, you can add a privacy zone, which is interesting. This is a space where your device will not be able to see. Now typically, uh, you can set up, you know, places where you want it to especially see um, with the ring cameras and other cameras out in the market, but this is a place where you especially don't want it to see. So if I hit plus, I can actually add a privacy zone, which is gonna appear as a black box. So now I just hit privacy zone one, hit done, and you'll note that now nothing can be seen in that space. 
uh, which is something we have not seen before. It's pretty interesting uh, and something I'm anxious to see um, how it kind of works in the future. So privacy zones are a new feature to the Ring Always Home app with your Ring stick up cam battery. Finally, you can go into your alert settings, decide on your different app alert sounds, uh, the link chimes, things of that nature, and your general settings, which allow you to name your device, it tells you where it's located and how you have it installed. So overall, I think it's a pretty easy, straightforward and intuitive process for using the Ring Always Home app with your Ring stick up cam battery. Here I am checking out the 1080p high definition video in a live stream on the Ring stick up cam battery. And you can see it looks pretty good. Uh, you can capture things in this well, uh, in this room pretty well because that 130 degree field of view. Uh, so it really can see what's happening. I can look around. It's solid, it's beautiful. It's really working for me. I'll give a little bit of a globe test. What do we have here? Ooh, mostly the ocean. Let's see if we can get a little bit of some, uh, some Australia action, a little Asia. If you look at the digital zoom, things are nice and clear. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with the video quality on the Ring stick up cam battery. Here I am checking out the night vision on the Ring stick up cam battery. And you note that it's pretty solid. It's got two infrared LEDs trained on my visage. Uh, so you can see things pretty well. You can make me out, you can see my beard, my glasses. Uh, you can see me gesticulating back and forth uh, as if I'm conducting an orchestra. Now if I go and do a little globe test, you will note that with the zoom, you can see the subcontinent, the Indian subcontinent, Asia, Australia, it's all looking pretty solid. So overall, I'm pleased with how well the night vision and the two infrared lights uh, function on the Ring stick up cam battery. All right, we've come a long way with our Ring stick up cam battery and you're wondering, Gabe, is this uh, the right camera for me? So let me break it down for you. It is a 1080p high definition camera. So the video quality is superb. Uh, it is an indoor outdoor camera that's battery powered. So you can fully charge it and forget about it for a number of months. Finally, you're getting all of that for under $100. I mean, sub 100, you just don't see that. Now, if you're looking for artificial intelligence, it's not gonna happen with your Ring stick up cam battery. And if you're looking for advanced motion features that be cut down to notifications, mm, it could probably do a little bit better in that arena. But if you're looking for a camera at this price point, the Ring stick up cam battery is really bringing a lot to the table. So that concludes our review of the Ring stick up cam battery. If you appreciated today's video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe with Security Baron. Be secure.